take a look anywhere and you would probably see a familiar laptop with a really iconic design. The ThinkPad series from Lenovo is undisputedly instantly recognizable and for good cause. But if you aren't in the loop, you might be surprised that there are actually quite a number of different types of ThinkPads nowadays. Without any prior knowledge, you might be confused as to which is which and what differences there are. Now, we won't be able to cover everything in just one video, but we'll focus on two main series which we feel most of you would be interested in, but we'll throw in a couple of other mentions as well. Let's start off with what all the ThinkPads have in common, what you can really expect from a ThinkPad, no matter which model you may be interested in. To date, all ThinkPad products undergo a rigorous testing process that includes a total of 12 methods and 20 procedures under the military standard 810G certification. These include mechanical shock, vibration, shipboard vibration, humidity, sand and dust, fungus, altitude, solar radiation, explore atmosphere, low temperature, high temperature, and extreme temperature. Now, Lenovo does state in fine print that under no circumstances does this guarantee performance under these conditions in the real world. But we reckon that it would definitely give anybody peace of mind knowing that the laptop they are using is well tested and is definitely durable. The other thing that all ThinkPads have in common is kind of a blast from the past. Along with the trackpad which pretty much all laptops have nowadays, ThinkPads still include a track point, which is that small little red knob that you can find in between the G, H and B keys. Basically, place your finger on it and apply some directional pressure, and that would move the mouse cursor. Situated right below where your thumb would naturally rest would also be the dedicated left, right, and middle buttons. For those of you who love the track point, well, ThinkPads are still the only laptops that offer them to this day. Of course, there are many more features that you would definitely appreciate across the lineup, such as the spill-resistant keyboard, the privacy shutter for the webcam, and more. But in essence, you can expect solid build quality and a great user experience with a ThinkPad. But now, let's talk about the differences and we start with the X1 series. If you are someone who requires the utmost in performance with both the CPU and the GPU, the X1 Extreme is definitely the one you'd want to take a look at. At the moment, the X1 Extreme Gen 4 is the latest and it will spot up to an 11th Gen Intel Core i9 V Pro and can be fitted with up to a GeForce RTX 3080. Needless to say, if you were to spec this out to the 9th, this is one powerful laptop that can handle just about anything you throw at it. Heavy graphics work, gaming, all of that. That Core i9, should you choose to go with it, will easily handle all of it. Not to mention that there's also a 16-inch 4K IPS touch display with great color coverage and accuracy, along with pretty much all-day battery life with that 90Wh battery. The best part is that you still get plenty of ports and the whole laptop weighs in at a respectable 1.8kg, or just about 4 pounds. But what if you're someone who needs that graphics horsepower but you're more into architecture or design? Take a look at the P14S Gen 2 from the P-Series, which Lenovo claims is their most portable mobile workstation. Now, it's powered by an Intel Core i7 processor for great CPU performance, but where it differs from the X1 Extreme is that it can be fitted with a T500 GPU instead. Unlike GeForce which is more focused towards gaming, the T500 is aimed at delivering performance for professional use such as 3D modeling, animation, and such. In fact, the laptop is ISV certified for a number of applications such as SolidWorks, Creo, MicroStation, and much more. Combine that graphics capability with the great performance from the Core i7 and you'll be plowing through your workflow with relative ease. Last but not least, we have arguably the most popular and most recognizable ThinkPad by far. If you require the lightest laptop out there but still provide the durability and rigidity that the ThinkPad provides, take a look at the X1 Carbon. With the latest X1 Carbon Gen 9, you can expect up to a 11th Gen Intel Core i7 V Pro with Intel Iris Xe, up to 32GB of RAM and up to 2TB of PCIe Gen 4 SSD storage. But what's amazing is how light this laptop is. The X1 Carbon comes in at just roughly 1.13kg or about 2.5 pounds. Slip it in the bag and you might not even realize it's in there. Despite the thinness, you can still expect a good amount of ports with Thunderbolt, standard USB 3.2, and even a HDMI port. Visuals are fantastic as well, with up to a 4K IPS panel with 100% DCI-P3 color coverage and support for HDR400. In essence, the X1 Carbon is possibly the ultimate ThinkPad Ultrabook and it really does show. 
great visuals, fantastic user experience, incredibly lightweight, superb battery life, you name it. This is everything you would want in an Ultrabook and more. Now of course, it's going to be a little pricey, no doubt, but needless to say, it's definitely very much worth it. So if you're interested in any of the laptops that we have shown or mentioned, there's probably no better time than now. If you're in Singapore, Lenovo is holding a sale right now and there's quite a number of deals for not just ThinkPads but any Lenovo laptop for that matter. At the moment, if you're in need of a new laptop and you're interested in the ThinkPads or anything else Lenovo has like their IdeaPads or their Yoga line, head over to lenovo.com SG to find out more. We are sure that that's probably something that you might be interested in. In addition, definitely do take a look at the description down below for there might just be something useful for you all to use for this sale. All in all, we are really liking the ThinkPad line of laptops from Lenovo and we are definitely looking forward to the next generational refresh that's coming really soon. If you guys have any questions, leave them down below and we'll be sure to answer them. For now, stay safe and we'll see you guys next time.